everyone. Thank you for joining me while I work on this next page. I had another vision while I was making my uh, chicken salad this morning. And I thought of this kind of a layout, you know, just and putting that together. And I thought that would be a little something different and interesting, make two little tuck spots. Um, so I am gonna go with that and see how it turns out. Okay, that's the last page. And make sure, yep, that's good. <laughs> Cause I already know this page is good. <laughs> um, so I wanted to again, try to use up some of these paper pads that I've had. And this, I decided to use like a cardstock uh, strength so that it'll hold up. And I was kind of like looking at these different things. This is beautiful, but I think it's gonna be too busy. And that'll work with the color. And that kind of gets busy. That color works and this works. So I think I'm gonna go with this. I decided on this one. Now, since my page is like five and a half, I went with a five inch square. And I guess I should have cut this out too. I went ahead and did a template just to be sure that my idea was gonna work. And I'm sure other people have done it before. Um, but I'm gonna try it. So this is, I'm making this five by five so that'll fit on my page. And then I'm just gonna cut it horizontal and diagonally. <laughs> diagonally. And try to get it as good as possible, but there we go. I put that out of the way. I can put these two out of the way. Um, and so this is going to be my pockets. Now, of course, I need some decorations for the back. <laughs> and I thought, let me just lay down some of this. And I think that'll work. So, how much do I need? I don't need a whole lot. Just enough to cover, see how that works. See if I like it. And I can use you to go down there. There. And I think I will go ahead and tear this up a little bit. But um, I'm also thinking of, uh, let me do a stitch on this. And I can still do a stitch around the page. And that'll help uh, make it all pretty. And what I'm... I always wonder if I should go ahead and stitch these down. It does hold them, but I don't want this one butted up against. So I think I'm just gonna glue them separately, you know, stitch around them and then glue them, tear this up and I'll be right back, okay? Don't hold your breath. Whoa, don't hold your breath. Okay, what I decided on was just a little zigzag on these parts and a straight wavy stitch on here. Um, yeah, I gotta remember how I had things. Doo, 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 doo. Doo, doo. That doesn't matter. I don't think it's as directional. And did I have this here? Probably. And I had you down here. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I can have it either way. Well, that's upside down. So this is going to be okay. I just need to think about where I need these. All right, let's go with that. You stay there so I can remember. There we go. So I hope you all are having a great day and getting some crafting done. Well, I guess you can if you're watching me. Oh, you can put me on and, and just have me have that background noise. There you go. Uh, <laughs> although I don't make a lot of noise. I do make a lot of sound effects. I noticed that about myself. Especially the brakes. 
I do that in the stores and everywhere. That's just me. Okay. One down. And I guess you can just go down there. Clean up a little bit. Thank you guys also for subscribing. That is so sweet. I was talking to my son the other day, and both of us remember, you know, when he convinced me to start publishing uh, my videos. We were like, oh, I'm only going to get five subscribers. Nobody's going to like me. <laughs> so it's been a surprise and a blessing. I'm so happy to be able to inspire and share what I've learned and show my imperfection. <gasps> uh, let me clean this up a little bit. It's still a little sticky. So that hopefully it takes some of the stress um, because like many others, I am a recovering perfectionist, <laughs> what I like to say. <laughs> and um, it's hard. Uh, to let things go and, and not worry about being perfect. Do I want to butt it up? I never really butt it up. Let's do that just so that I have maximum room. I'm going to butt it right up against the edge if I can. Hmm. Like in the last video, I was saying I was working on this needle turn applique piece, this little wall hanging. And as I was, you know, trying to relearn how to do it and how to do the quilting stitches nicely, I was like, yeah, this is where my perfectionism, you know, had to come in and worry so much. And because I've been doing this work, I was like, well, that stitch isn't the same length. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's done. It's being made. I'm not putting it in a fair to be judged. And if anybody comes and judges it, I will give them das boot out of my house. <laughs> and I wonder if I should put this one down first. <laughs> I knew I screwed it up. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean that word. I will mess it up. My bad. That can be offensive word. Mess it up. Oh my goodness. I might have to bleep that out, although I don't know how. <laughs> ah, okay. Easily fixed, because we're just going to slide that bad boy up under there. Once I figure out where I want it. Okay, I don't want it right on the crease. I know that, but we'll put you right up. There we go. Okay. So I definitely put the top one down first. Oh, I know I was debating which way to go, and then I forgot about thinking about that. So this fits better if you do that one first. This one, number two. All right, let's put this pin in it. Get a little gluey. And <laughs> you can't even see the stitching. <laughs> Oopsie. Um which is okay. Now, of course, the decorating part um, is looking for some cute little lace, and I think I want some thin. It's gonna have to be really flat so that when you stick this in, it's not interfering, or I think something will be prettier there or there. Let's try that. That way I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just looking through what I have in here. I used to have it in a container so I can bring it over and show you, but now I have it in a drawer. I was trying to get things off my table. Okay, I think that'll be... Hmm. Let's do this one first and see if we need something different there. 
I'm just not sure if it's gonna clash or not. Oh no, I've lost my cutting scissors. Oh, they're in the other room. Oops. And I'm gonna do this at an angle. Oh, that works. All right, let's get some glue down and see how that works. Always have to open up that hole a little bit. Sometimes I just get so excited about making something I forget. I gotta think it through. <laughs> okay. That'll work. And we can use it just to tie it in. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. So let me just start with that and go up to here and cut that off. And I need to have to cut that off. It's a long one, but that's okay. So I think that'd be okay. I don't think I need to switch it up. to the line there. Edge. And there we go. I'll cut that excess off in a minute. So, now I haven't done any phrases or poems. On this one so maybe I can get one of those in here um, I always forget to use them for some reason These aren't like theme orientated really. They're, um, this is Judith Thurman, Every Dreamer Knows, that it is entirely possible to be homesick for a place you've never been to. So, I try to be non-specific so that I can use them in different journals. Oops, sorry, I was just tearing it. So I was just thinking, um, since I have no plan on how to decorate this, I think how I start is I just pick one thing, okay, like this I thought to do, and then I just kind of work around it. Um, so there um, doesn't always have to be a specific start or finish or I never know, you know, what's gonna come about. And butterflies, ooh, I think that'll go with that. So I'm just trying to build up the background now um, and add to, um, not background, yeah. You know, just pick something and then fill it in. Is that what I'm trying to say? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I have all these and I just need to use them. Some green, that's why my eyes like in it. Um, there's some of those things. I kind of think this blends in too well though. Now that I, yeah, that might not work. What else can we use? That breaks it up more, but still almost
something. I don't know if I'm happy with that. Uh, what else do I have? I was just pulling out a ticket, but I've got a ticket down there, so I'm just thinking, let me try something else so that I'm not repetitive. I just like to mix things up. Um, I think... I think that's a good contrast. What do you think? Okay, now I know I have all these little teeny tiny things in here. So let's see if anything works. Okay. Doesn't have to be straight. There, I think that is cute. Um, is that too much of the same color? <laughs> I know I'm just saying things. And you can't answer me. Oh, I already got that kind of a number. That was the same. So. Uh, I think I'm going to speed this up. Because this is the long part, you know, pulling things out and just trying each one. So I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Okay, so I've got all that inked up, and now I'm going to start gluing. I hope I can remember <laughs> how I had it. I think something like that. Okay, uh, let me use this. Less messy. And I may still use some... Um, cheesecloth just to uh, give it another dimension layer okay try to remember that so as you can see inking around all the edges just really helps define the pieces and they show up better and just really give it a nice look. I like it. Um, that vintage age look. Oh, I was gonna see what I had. <laughs> I forgot that quick. Do I have any? I was looking for that um, brown. And I don't know where the brown would be. some more. Okay, now do I want brown or the green? Let's see. I think this won't overpower it. That one's two layers. Eesh. Oh, there's some. Okay. I really should go ahead and get my sewing scissors, but that worked. And we can scrunch that into fit. Okay, you're a little 
so it doesn't fit look cut off. And then I am going to use this then. There's enough tweezers. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that worked. Um, guess what for? <laughs> you guys can do this too. <laughs> Tear it up if it don't fit. <laughs> I still want something to, you know, add there. And that was another thing I had to overcome. I was like, can I tear their stuff up? I'm like, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got that one done. Uh, let's see if I can remember how this looks. Yeah. So hopefully I'm explaining well enough um, why I'm doing what I'm doing, what's catching my eye. Um, uh, I have the, the need and the urge to fill every spot, but that is just my style. And of course you feel free to do what you like, that's the whole idea. I know layering is always the hard part for everybody. I feel like it's not as big of a struggle for me anymore. Uh, once I kind of just realize all you have to do is just a little of this, I just start laying things down, you know, start with one thing and then go from there, see what else, you know, catches your eye. And just remembering what you have was the hard part. That's why I have to keep everything, <laughs> everything out in front of me or beside me. Yeah, let's put you down first. So find a way that works for you. Whoops. I don't know that many people have my same memory problem, but ooh, definitely out of sight, out of mind. Uh, let's use you since I'm on top of the cheesecloth. It's just more gooey ooey, so I'm hoping it'll seep down and connect better. And I used to think that I couldn't, you know, touch that lace. I had to go under it, you know, that was just a, prefer a preference because that was also paper and this is, you know, that thin cardboard. So I knew it would hold better. So we're going to do that. And we're going to use this because it has that cheesecloth. Poof you up a little bit. Now, do you still fit? I feel like that's too much there. Whoops, oops, well I did drop it. Um, I don't think it fit anymore. Um, it's way over here to the right. Oh. Yeah, I think that'll still match. I think that it'll, it'll work. I'm glad I wasn't too lazy to go get it. <laughs> I always put out too much when I'm using that fabric tag. Now, you know, they're still gonna have something pretty there, you know, I'm sure to tuck in. And I'll probably make something later uh, to put in there. I'm just trying to see, is there anything else that I can add? Um, and what makes these guys 
butterflies pop is when you add some kind of gem on them. And I like that look. It might not have the same color, but it still helps make it pop. Oh, you guys are always escaping. Dab. My fingers are so full of glue, it's hard to uh, get a grip without it sticking to me. So that already helped that. Now I haven't used a button in a couple of days. Let's see if one of these buttons will match up here. I want something kind of light. You know, red is going to be too stark. Uh, but I can tie something in this color. And I think that's okay. And what we could add to it is just a little something underneath it, even though that's close to it. Um, I just always seem to need something else. That might be too distracting. I can cover up the butterfly. It's not a focal point. Let's try this and see if I like it. It's just the difference. I mean, to me, that just is just there out in the open for no reason. Who dropped that button there? So now it looks like it's planned. <laughs> okay. And this is a nice salmon coralish color. And I think it matches the rest. You know, it's not too dark and stark and bold and popping out. And I don't want to stick myself again. I've done stuck myself a million times <laughs> doing that quilting and needlepoint, needle turn. All right. Do I think I need anything else? I'm kind of sad that that got covered. My stitching got covered. And I can try to take it back over to the sewing machine, which I might do, just to make that pop. But then it's going to look silly here. I'm going to have just two stitches. So I think I'm going to leave it alone. Um, I'm not going to put any lace there, because I think that's just going to interfere with what I tuck it there. And I think I'm going to call this done. Um, You know, as soon as I say that, I think of something else. And if I can find my little stamp, I think that'll help just with the edge there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put lace on the back side later. But I think that'll just help not make it look so empty. Okay, maybe a little more up here. See, just that little bit changes everything. And I'm gonna stamp on their stuff just to tie the top to the bottom in. And I got a little spot here. Not no more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm happy now. Oh, I'm all my junk out of the way. Okay, that, that improved it a lot since I lost my stitching. Uh, just having something else there on the background, uh, I think helps. And then next, we'll just work on something pretty to put in there or let them do it. I'm sure I'll do it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I wasn't raw. So <laughs> happy crafting. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.